Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at the equation of motion of a particle. S is equal to t cubed minus 3t, where s is measured in meters and it's drawn over time, which is t, in seconds. So we're looking to find the velocity and acceleration as functions of t. So firstly, the velocity is just the derivative of the position. And so to find it, we have to take the derivative of this function right here. The derivative of this first term, looking at a power function, you take out the coefficient, which is just one, we just have one t cubed there. You bring down the exponent, which is three. And then your new exponent is the old one, minus one. So bring down the exponent, subtract one. Over here, our coefficient is minus three. This is the little, think of that as t being t to the one. So we bring down the exponent, which is just one and then subtract one from the exponent to get the new exponent. This is something we can now simplify. We have three, t to the three minus one is t squared minus three times t to the zero. t to the zero is just one, so this is just three times one, so minus three. Also looking to find the acceleration, which is the derivative of the velocity. So we have to take the derivative of this. Again, we have a power function, so you take out the coefficient, bring that out front, multiply it by your exponent, and then subtract one from the exponent to get your new exponent. This is a, a, um, a constant, so its derivative is just zero, so that we can think of that as minus zero. And this is gonna be equal to three times two, which is six. T to the two minus one is T to the one, which is just T, and we can ignore that minus zero. So that your acceleration is 6t and your velocity is 3t squared minus 3. So for b, we're looking to find the acceleration after 2 seconds. So all we have to do is plug in 2 for t, since t is in seconds. Plugging it in to 6t, or where we see a t, we plug in a 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. So the acceleration after 2 seconds is 12 meters per second squared. That's the unit for acceleration and in C, looking for the acceleration when the velocity is zero. So first of all, we have to find when is the velocity zero. So V of T is equal to three T squared minus three. When is this equal to zero? Zero is equal to three T squared minus three. We can divide everything in this equation by three, making it a little bit easier. I'm rewriting that up there so we still have space. We get zero is equal to T squared minus three divided by three is one. So zero is equal to t plus one times t minus one, difference of two squares. And from this, we get that t is equal to negative one, and t is equal to one. In this situation, we're gonna be looking at positive values because time cannot be negative. So when t is one, the velocity is zero. And now we wanna find the acceleration when the velocity is zero, so the acceleration when t is equal to one. So again, just to find this, we just have to plug in one for t, which gives us six times t, which is one, six meters per second squared. So we found the velocity, we found the acceleration, we found the acceleration when the velocity is zero, or sorry, that's this, and we found the acceleration after two seconds, which is that. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.